Hey everyone, I'm Ashley the Thrifty Chica here on YouTube and today I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know about how to use Design Space like a pro. Today we're going to learn how to use the flatten feature inside Cricut Design Space and the flatten feature is amazing. It's really helpful for taking multiple layers and turning it into one solid project and making it a lot easier to create and customize without using a ton of materials. So stay tuned so you can learn more and make sure if you haven't already to click the subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future content. I'm going to show you guys how to use the flatten feature inside Cricut Design Space using the desktop application. This is just the easiest to screen record, but it will have some slight differences if you're using a phone or a tablet. So on the desktop application, you will find all of these different features, slice, weld, attach, flatten, and contour on the bottom right hand side of the screen. If you're using the phone, you will find it along the bottom section of the screen. So what we do is we go into images and select an image that you want to use. So currently I chose this one, which is a really beautiful mountain scene, very stylized. And if you look on the right hand side, it shows you all of these different versions that would need to be cut to create this multiple layered image. So the mountain scene has the white section for the tops of the mountains. It has the mountains, the trees, the grass, all of these different pieces. All of these pieces can make it quite difficult if you want to create, a, say, iron on t-shirt. If you're going to use iron on vinyl or HTV, this would be so many layers that would be very difficult to make a t-shirt with. Or if you were making a project, you would run through a lot of resources to make this particular project. So what this feature is for, the flatten feature, is to create multiple levels and create it into one picture so that you're not running through tons of resources and it just makes it a lot easier. So I chose the word explore and I wanted to add that in there too so that would be another layer on top of it. So if we want to make this so that this can become a print and cut image which uses less layers, what we're going to do is we're going to drag and click a box around it it will highlight on the very bottom right the different options. You can weld, you can attach, you can flatten. So the flatten feature, if you click it, all it does is it takes all of those different layers and it condenses it down into a single layer. And this can be used for print and cut features. Now that we've created a cut and print image, what's the next step? Well, the next step is to go ahead and click make it. And this takes us to the mat to work with. If you look on the left hand side of the screen, it says print and it also says cut. So what you're going to want to do is take your printable material, such as regular paper. If you're doing a design, say for a card, you could use cardstock or regular paper. If you're doing a design for a t-shirt, say you wanted to make a really cute t-shirt with all these multiple layers condensed down into one, then you will use a printable HTV or you can use printable vinyl, say if you want to make something for home decor. So you'll just insert your printable material into your inkjet printer and you need an inkjet printer for it to deposit the ink on top of your vinyl or your HTV. And what it'll do is it'll print out the design for you and then you take it and you put it on your Cricut mat and you can insert it into your Cricut machine and it will cut out the shape for you. The way that the Cricut knows exactly where the project is oriented is if you look at the rectangle that is surrounding the whole project, the machine uses that to sense um, exactly where everything is oriented within it. So you'll just load this into your mat and it will cut it out for you and then you can go ahead and directly use the design how you want. So if you're um, making a t-shirt, it will cut it out for you and then you can use that and iron it on and you're good to go. Or you can use it for, you know, home decor, labels, whichever application you prefer. But that's the main difference between how you use a print and cut uh, feature versus a standard traditional cutting feature. So I just wanted to show you what would happen if you chose not to use the flatten feature. And if you were going to make this individually, what would happen? So if you take your words here and you include them, you draw a box around it and you group them together, you go into making it and you would have to use all of these different screens and different mats to create the same look um, for a layered image. So as you can see, that would take you a ton more time and it would also take you a ton more resources. This is why the flatten feature is so useful. 
Thanks so much for watching the video. If you haven't yet, make sure to click the like button and leave a comment below letting me know any questions or comments or content that you would like to see so that I can help you do your very best with Cricut Design Space. And if you haven't, check out the cards on the top of the video and it'll lead you to a playlist showing you all the content that I have for Cricut so that you can use uh, Design Space just like a pro and you can create some really beautiful custom projects using Dollar Tree items. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks so much for watching.